I don't go to the beach and don't really vacation, but I tell people this is my beach to farm, you know, I love being on the farm, you know. It's what I get up every day and look forward to is taking care of my animals. Words can't describe the importance of people like Joey. When you see things that are made in the USA, they're made here in Beulahville, they're made in, in areas like Duplin County. Some folks in North Carolina claim a food company is dumping waste right on their doorsteps. Hundreds have gone to court to make it stop. Testimony you're about to give. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. Tell me God, yes. Residents said they had to endure sickening smells and noises that made their lives miserable. That's why about 500 North Carolina residents are suing a subsidiary of Smithfield Foods. The lawyers got them convinced that you're not suing Joey Carter, you're suing Smithfield. They concentrated on a really small area right here. White people did what they wanted to do, and if they had money, they built the hog houses. They say, like, they only build hog farms in black communities. And those people who lived here never knew there was a hog farm here. I'm not going to lie on my neighbor. If I don't know nothing, count me out. This has drove a wedge between people that would speak and laugh together on a daily basis. Uh, it's not happening. The plaintiffs specifically say we have no medical claim, not a single medical bill, nothing. We're suing on the basis of health effects, but, but we can't talk about your medical records. To me, that's just absolutely, uh, that's a miscarriage of justice. You can imagine what might happen if there's a breeze and Dr. Wing had never been to Joey Carter's farm. He had no idea what was on Joey Carter's farm. Let me tell my story. Let him come on my farm. I never saw other reporters out there on these farms. They wheeled a plastic pig covered in dirt into a federal courtroom. The juror walked by our table, looked over and just said, bullshit, and then walked out. And I thought, the farmers don't stand a chance. Nobody wants another Flint, Michigan. From a PR perspective, it's, it's, it's not good. It's not good. It's, it's always the darkest right before dawn.